Good morning, everybody. Just bringing a up on my computer. Come on, internet, do your thing. Refresh. Here we go. Hi, 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 hi. How are we all this morning? Oh, hi, hi, hi. oh God, I can hear myself. <laughs> all right. Oh, and let's make that stop. Sorry, guys. <sighs> anyway. How are we all? Am I all in the right spot? Can I, am I on the right Facebook page? Since Facebook has gone and changed everything in the last few days... Linda Pearson, am I on my business page or my personal page? Where am I, babe? Because that's, you know, splendid. I reckon I'm on my... All right, let's have a look here. I'm on my business page. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, you know, some days... Anyway, so welcome back to day three of the uh, Craft Alive online craft show. Today, uh, as part of uh, the online specials, we have got Lindy's Gang products at 15% off. Our stamps are 15% off and collage papers are 15% off as well as dyes. And we've got, <laughs> uh, we have some really fantastic things available in the uh, show specials category on our website as well as on um, in our bundles. So make sure you pop on there and have a bit of a look. Um, you can find everything that you need on nataliemay.com.au. You'll also find updates in the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community and all of the YouTubes that I, all the all the filming I've been doing this weekend um, is through, you can see that again on uh, YouTube. So what I want to do today is I want to have a chat to you about Lindy's sprays and a couple of different ways that you can use them. And um, I'm going to create a little project. So just to give you a bit of an example, these are the Lindy sprays. So this is the latest spray collection called Arctic Adventures. Uh, and this is a, a set of sprays that are designed especially to, they all go, they all work beautifully together. And the Lindy sprays, when they come to you, you can actually purchase them as an individual spray. So we do have quite a range of colors available as individuals, or you can get them in a set like this, which is the best value for money. When you purchase them, they come as a powder. So they come as a, a powder, so they're not activated. There's no water in them at all. A um, couple of reasons they do this, and that is because for transporting, they and, and posting, they don't leak, which is an absolute bonus. Um, so much lighter and uh, more efficient to send them. So this one here is called Iceberg Azura. So this is a Starburst spray and a Starburst spray has got a shimmer to it. So what has got written on the back here? To use, add warm water to the fill line, let it sit for 10 minutes, shake before each use and enjoy. So what I have done this morning is I have taken my personal set and boiled some water in my kettle, in the jug, let it come back to room temperature and then I have activated these. So filled the hot water up to the fill line and there's the little fill line mark and gave it a really good shake. So I didn't put boiling water in it. I added warm water. So, but why I boil it in the kettle first is because sometimes, depending on where you are in the country, um, it boils some of the impurities out. Okay, so that's the main advantage of doing that. So I 
boil it, bring it back down to room temperature so I'm not going to burn my fingers, of course, and then we, then I give it a shake and let it sit for 10 minutes. All of those crystals have to dissolve, so it's like jelly crystals. You really have to dissolve them all to use them. Now, I haven't used these yet. All I've done is given them a shake, let them sit, and, and that's it. So let's give them a little bit of a swatch, first of all, and a spray. I have a piece of just plain white cardstock here. And what I'm going to do is I will start with the Penguin Play Periwinkle. That's a cool name. And I'll just give it a spray. Oh, that's a bit nice. So these are Starburst sprays, which means that they have a shimmer to them when they dry. They've got a gorgeous shimmer to them. And that is what makes these really, really cool. Oh, that's a really nice navy. That one is called Narwhale Navy. Narwhal? Narwhal the whale? Does that, is that a thing? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay, somebody has. Um... I love that navy. It's a really beautiful navy. Uh, this is Iceberg Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, Azure. Oh, it's like, oh, my, my words are not working today. This one is called Snowy Tundra Sunset. Oh, that's a bit nice. And this one is Blushing Polar Bear. So Lindy's have got a great range of sprays available. And the really cool thing is, is you can do so much with them. I'm going to use these today and I'm going to create a little journal page using some stamps, using some dies. Now, I'm not too sure if you can see, I'll bring it up to camera. Especially these ones here. I don't know if you can see, it's got that glittery shimmer to it on here. So the Lindy sprays have got, you can get a couple of different sorts. These are the Starburst and these have got the shimmer to them. All right, let's get on to making something pretty. So I have swatched those. So I have a good idea what the colors look like. Um, I'm going to leave them all here in front of me to use, have access to those. Um, okay. What have I got here? Oh, some of you may or may not have noticed when I did a little walk around this morning, I've got some dyes available. These are the um, some new dyes that have gone up on the website. And I have, I thought I'd use one of these this morning. We've got dogwood. Now these are currently 30% 30 off. 30 off. So dogwood rose. So this one when it cuts is lovely, lovely. Looks like that. So it's a layering die, um, meaning that we can pop that over the top. So I do love that. Then we have this one here. Let's pop that out of the way. This one here is called Myrtle. And that again is a layering die that sits like that. That's another gorgeous one. We have a, uh, this one is like a, a, a triangle chaos sort of situation. This is a really good one if you're wanting to add a die to um, like a masculine project. And I love that you can tear this one up and you can do all sorts of bits with it. It's really, really nice actually. Great for masculine things. Uh, we have got the Monarch Butterfly. So this is another layering die. And there's our butterfly, okay? That's a bit nice. Might use that today. And then we've got our color wheel. So the color wheel is this one here. So it's quite a big color wheel and it cuts two separate dies. So it cuts a little triangle, that a little wedge that you can layer up 
underneath there like that okay so and you can cut more to cut the pieces under there so they are some dies that are currently available online um, and they're in the show specials section which is great for you guys but today I'm going to use the monarch butterfly die now I'm going to do a page in my art by Marlene journal so this is a journal that has a watercolor style paper in it um it has done oh here's a page i've done with lindy's there you go you see that shimmer that's looking great um so it's a six by nine page and it's a binder and i do like working with a binder um it's got like a kind of like a watercolor paper as well and i'm going to uh i'm going to do a here's some other pages that i've done in it and most of these have been live facebooks and you can jump back on and have a look on youtube and see all of these tutorials um so i thought i would do a page with these so one thing i do like about these ring bound journals is that i can add pages so i have cut another piece here the same size and it's just a smooth cardstock not a watercolor cardstock or anything like that it's just a smooth cardstock and i want to before i do anything else i just want to have a little play just to see how my lindy sprays react on that smooth cardstock so what happens is different sprays react diff or different liquids react differently on different paper so i've just got a paintbrush which i have dipped in some water and i'm going to dip it straight into here and it soaks in straight away so the paper that um that i cut to go in is quite porous and it's going to really really soak in that liquid um Oh my gosh, it is absolutely blowing a go outside at the moment. I'm thinking, what the heck's going on? Um, sorry about that. So yeah, I'm gonna, I might use the watercolor paper today because I think that'll uh, take, the, take the liquid better. And I'm going to, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm going to do a bit of a, a splotchy sort of background, I think, and pop my butterfly on. Um, and I'm going to do my butterfly in these beautiful colours. Um, I might spray my butterfly first and pop that aside to dry. Uh, so I've got my layered butterfly, which I've pre-cut, and I'm going to do the bottom of it, the bottom layering bit. I'm going to spray in Snowy Tundra Sunset, and I'm just going to spray that straight on like that. And then I'm going to pop it aside to dry. But before I do that, I'm just going to soak up some of that goodness on here. So it's a lovely, rich, intense colour. Now, I have cut these out of um, just white, heavy-duty cardstock. It's what I make my cards out of. You can purchase it online and um, as a pack of, like, the card-making packs. That's all I use. Um, this one I'll do in this different colour. It's slightly lighter, giving it a good shake each time I use it to make sure the glitter's up off the bottom. And I'm going to turn it over, soak up all of that goodness. Yes. And pop that aside to dry. And I'm just going to wipe that over. All right. So these three blues that I have got here, I'm going to use them straight out of the bottle with a paintbrush and I'm going to add them to my page with uh, and, and kind of blotch it on on my art journal page. So I'm going to start with the lightest colour and going back to my, just glancing at my swatches, I remember this Penguin Play Periwinkle was my lightest colour. So holding this in my hand the entire time so that I don't knock it over. So I'm just going to dip my paintbrush straight in and I'm going to puddle my colours like so. Now this paper is soaking in the colour right away. So I need to be pretty accurate. In fact, 
I don't love how this is working at all. It's not giving me any movement. Okay, instant fail. Love me a live Facebook fail. So I've got some watercolor paper. Let's try that. But here's the cool thing about this is me having a bit of a play here, showing you how it works and showing you that I often stuff this up and not test my papers first. Here's my page. I'm just gonna, cause I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna outline it. I've just got some watercolor paper. Right, let's test this one. Let's test it on the scrap on the side first. And that's much better. The colors sitting on top, allowing movement instead of soaking right in. So playing with your paper first is super important. Um, yes, so Jamie's just commented, real life happens to everyone. Absolutely. Um, I, full transparency, I will always sh tell you exactly how it is, unfortunately for a lot of people. <laughs> I am that person. Um, all right, so I'm just puddling this on, just like that, puddle, puddle, puddle. And I do like the way that it is soaking on here. And I've got a drip, but that's okay. I'm now going to add some of the more greener tone, giving it a little shake. Let's just do a little test on the side here. Yep, that's definitely the color that I like. Nice big fat paintbrush. And I'm just gonna layer up this color alongside it. So I'm mixing them up a little. Oh, that's nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just giving it a little bit of movement, moving that color around. And I wanna hit it lightly with my heat gun before I add the darker color. And the darker color is gonna go in the middle because I just don't want it to be too, uh, too mixed in together. I still want those colors to have their own identity. So while I'm drying this, let's just have another look at how the, how this is soaked into this paper. And this is definitely um, something worth testing beforehand. So I tested it with the other paper, the Bristol Smooth paper, but the paper that came out of the Art by Marlene journal is ideal for acrylic paint, not necessarily a water-based liquid, okay? But you can see that shimmer sitting on the top there, so that's pretty cool. Right, so I've got some puddles here of liquid, as you can see. So I'm gonna take some paper towel and I'm just going to soak those up. Right, next color I'm going to add is the navy. I want some depth in the middle. So there's no reason why I have to use a spray as a spray. I can use it as a paint. So I can blotch it on like this. I'm gonna start adding a few little splatters now. And this is just a finger tap. It's nothing more than that. Um, I used to be a splendid smoker back in the day, so I'm really good at that ash tap sort of technique. I'm now gonna take my, just my wet, clean paintbrush and I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
excuse me. So, as you were saying, Jamie, real life happens to everyone. There's your sneeze live on Facebook. So, back to the clean, wet paintbrush. I'm just using those and I'm soaking some of that puddle there, grabbing it and just toning it back, taking the puddle off with my paintbrush. So uh, comments just been made. Uh, those colors have blended beautifully together. They certainly have. And that is because Lindy's designed their color sets perfectly. So these gorgeous colors are designed to go together. Now, something else that we can do here is I can add a little bit of just plain water and it will help just a little touch, kind of spreads it a little, moves it around. Just gonna take my paper towel. You have the control. You can soak it up with your paper towel. You don't have to be scared of it. Now, it is a dye-based powder, and that's the really cool thing that Lindy's have. So they're a pigment dye-based powder, and the sprays are designed separately to the Magicals. I'll be talking about the Magicals a little bit later on today and doing some demos with those. Um, but right now, the sprays are designed to go in spray bottles with the perfect amount of powder to water ratio to get you these great, rich colours. Now, this is the, um, the lighter colour again. And what I want to do is add a few more splatters around my page and I'm just tapping my nozzle rather than putting my paintbrush in. And I will do the same thing with that gorgeous light blue, that penguin play blue. Just a couple of little taps around the place. Doing your lid back up again. And I'll bring that up to camera in just a second. Of course, now that I've sneezed, I need to blow my nose. Sorry, that's the worst thing to happen on camera and I have a knack of doing it. See what's happened? See the colour layering up on top of each other? I'm going to dry this off in a second and then we're going to add some stamping on there as well. So drying it off really good because I want to, um, I, I want to stamp. I want to stamp. Alrighty, I just had an idea, um, but hey, hey Lou, could you grab me some cheesecloth, please? Thanks. So I'm making sure this is totally dry before adding on the next level, which is going to be, how's that drying up? Oh, I've got a bit, it's a bit blotchy. So I'm gonna give this another spray in a second. Um, I'm gonna add some cheesecloth and color some cheesecloth. That's beautiful. It's lovely. They're nice colours. I know they're nice colours. Do you need a net to catch the butterfly? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Thanks. But I will. I'm going to colour this in a minute. But before I do that, I just want to give this another spray with this darker snowy tundra sunset. Darken that up. <coughs> mm -mm. Now I've got this hot mess here. A couple of things I can do is I'm going to take this cheesecloth. Now we've got this cheesecloth available as well online that you can purchase. You will find it. I don't know. Where will you find it, Lou? Where? What category is the cheesecloth under on the on the interweb? I don't know. And I'm just spraying that. 
And I haven't decided if that's the color, but I'm just soaking up that mess. Cheesecloth is beautiful. I'm just gonna pop that aside. And I think I need to do one in blue as well. But we've got these lovely little packs of cheesecloth available. Um, and I think you get like a, a pack of three or five or something like that. There's six in a packet for $3. Six in a packet for $3. I just put cheesecloth in the... Oh, so if you're looking for it online, just go out to the top search bar and type in cheesecloth and magically it will appear. Tickety-boo. Tickety-boo. Just like that. Turning it over. That's a lot, but, you know, soak, soak. Pop that aside to dry because I don't know which one I'm going to use. And wipe that baby off. Or it's in or it's in embellishments, there we go. Okay, so here's my, look at that silver on there. Man, that's nice. Just gonna uncurl it a little. Okay, I missed the star. Are the sprays water-based? They don't seem to be staining your hands too much. The reason they're not staining my hands too much because I haven't got my hands into them yet, but yes. What makes these sprays water-based is the fact that I've used water to activate them. The sprays are, in fact, a pigment dye-based product, which means that they, are, they have a permanency to them, which is really awesome. Okay, they're not like a lot of other products on the market. Uh, Lindy's have been around for over 25 years. Um, they were one of the pioneers, I guess you could say, of this um, the sprays and like the, the powders, okay? So um, really, really cool. So what I want to do now is I want to add some stamping to my background. So I've got this set here. This is the Mixed Media Play from Art by Marlene. It is a, it's an excellent one for adding background images. So there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to add these little lines now it may not show up very well on camera simply because those out the way put that there because i'm stamping onto a dark background but let's give it a red hot go and let's get rid of that glare sorry guys i know that my butterfly is going to sit in here so what I want to do is I just want to add some pattern to in and around over the top of this stamping, okay? So I'm kind of going to go up there and down there. See that really subtle stamping? And what else have we got here? I do love me some dots. I do love me some dots. So, yeah, Sandy's just commented. I saw the bit about mixing the water. Yeah, so Lindy's, like I said, have been around for a lot of years. Um, and it is a family-run business based in Washington. And they are a very hard-working company. They mix and package everything at home. It is a home-based business. It is not packaged and bought out of China or anything like that. They are real people who make them and mix them at home. You can look up Lindy's Gang on Facebook and you will find a... Um, some photos of the girls packaging at home, which is really, really cool. Here's that little baby stamp. Can you see that little baby stamp? That's just those dots. Okay, so we're just adding texture to our background and some little love hearts here, hey? I would like to stamp these in blue. I would like a blue ink pad. Let me get one. A 
blue ink pad. Let me see what I've got in my little, there we go. That could work. I'm actually looking for chip sapphire, would be better. Green, purple could work, but I won't use purple. We all know that I won't use purple. Chip sapphire would be way better. And let's test it first. Let's grab that. Yep, yeah, perfect. So I'm stamping this, this Faded Jeans archival ink and I'm focusing on my edges. So I'm building the edges of my page. So some of you, while I'm just doing this, some of you may notice that um, as part of the special today, we have got stamps at 15% off. Just please note that that does not include the brand new art by Marlene that just arrived in yesterday. Um, that does not include the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps either. Um, and it, we give you the best possible prizes that we can, as you know, but the sale does not include those items. Um, if you have pre-ordered, oops, if you have pre-ordered the Art by Marlene products um, previously through me, uh, we will be, we're just waiting for the rest of the delivery to come in and we will send you an invoice and, um, and make that happen very, very shortly. But we're just waiting for the rest of the delivery. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I've got these really cute little love hearts now around my page. Um, and I want to add my butterfly. Let me put that on there, put that aside, pop that aside and pop these aside. So these were the Art by Marlene Mixed Media Play Stamps. I will probably use one of those sentiments shortly. Uh, and I just want to have a bit of a think now about how I'm going to finish this page off. Um, it is dry. Let's have a look at my butterflies. Still wet. Let's dry them off. So we, our coloured cheesecloth, the liquid has all been soaked up into that, so that won't take long to dry. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure that that colour is not going to be the one that I use, so I might just dry the other one. And I've still got a white one here, I might still use the white one. Drying, drying, drying. Right, so I'm going to take this, open it up. At the moment, it's a pretty boring square. So what I want to do, though, is I want to give it a stretch, pull it apart. So come on. Come on. I don't want it perfect. Mmm. All right, I'm going to glue that down. I'm using the Art by Marlene sticky glue with the lovely fine little nozzle. And I'm only gluing down the middle of the body because of the wings. So for those of you just tuning in, this is a die cut um, that is available in the show specials section. And we have discounted it just for the show, just for you guys, by 30%. That's a, that's a bargain. Who, who authorised 30%? Crazy. 
Crikey. All right, I'm putting that aside to dry. So that's gonna go there. It needs something, it needs something else. Um, I feel like it needs to be circled. It needs, needs to be framed. I need something to make a, a circle out of. Um, okay, 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 okay. Have a little think, Natalie. How about some, how about, have we, no, mm, let me cut this off. I feel like it needs a, oh, I know, I need some black string. You know my basket? I think there's a roll of black string in there. Would you track that down for me, please, Lou? She's the best. Just don't tell her. Okay. It does actually look quite good sitting on top. Let's have a look and see what it looks like with the white and see if it looks better. Shred it. Pull it apart. Did you find some? Oh, you are the best. She's my new favourite staff member. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be white. Maybe it needs to be a bit shredded more. What do we think? Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, so I'm just taking some string, wrapping it around my hand. Cut it off. That and that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I do think I like the white. I think I like it. What do you guys think? The white? Or the blue? Oh, no, definitely the white. Definitely the white. Okay, decision made. How do we stick down this stuff? Uh, I get myself a stapler. A stapler is what I use. You could use a long arm stapler if you've got a bigger page, but I do think that the, yeah, I do think a stapler is gonna work just fine. I could also use uh, some of the, oh, what's that red tape called? That red line tape, that will work great. Stop it, Natalie, okay. My round bit of string, let's have another look at this. So I just wrapped it around my hand. I just, that's all it was. Like that and like that. And I'm also gonna staple that, that on as well. Stapler is going to be my embellishment of choice. And I'm happy that I can see my staples. I'm all right with that. And I can make a feature of them by putting a couple together. That's what I'll do. Okay, there we go. Rough and ready. Okay. And not centered, but that's okay. That's fine. Butterfly in the middle. Might foam tape that. Let's foam tape it. I've got some express it foam tape. I'm gonna put a nice big square there. Let's have a look, see the shimmer? She's so pretty. And that is what the Lindy sprays can do. Now, now, Lindy's also do a flat spray and they also do a moon shadow spray. So there's a couple of different 
spray sets that you can get and a couple of different spray sets or sprays that you can purchase as individuals. And I love that. And they just still look amazing. But most importantly, they're a great dye-based set, which of course means that you can, you know, you will get some finger stain. But the, it has that permanency to them. So, and the magicals are the same. They have that permanency to them. And I, I really, really love that. So, um, now, as per normal, a border is important. And so is a pen with some ink in it. Just any pen will do, Natalie black ballpoint pen oh my gosh some days some days I tell you there we go So if you had a sewing machine handy, you could sew a beautiful stitched edge around this. That would look really, really nice. Um, the reason I'm doing a black border is because I've got this really lovely black loop around here for texture and I just need to tie it all together. Now I know I haven't put the holes in the side yet, but that's okay. Um, and what I'm gonna do is a little doodling here, a little bit of a semic writing, a little bit of loopy loopy. And I could write some words if I wanted, but I just like a little scribble on mine and it ties it all together. Now, let's come up with a lovely little phrase. What have I done here? There we go. Just a little scrippy, scripty loop. Okay. How about a phrase, um, a phrase that says something amazing. How about a stamp? That might be better. How about, oh, my air vents are getting sucked up into the roof flue. <laughs> um, Here we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to get those off the floor. All right, this is my All We All Make Choices stamp set. This is a stamp set that is not on special, but it's a stamp set that you need in your life. Um, we've got some great little phrases here. Uh, we change your thoughts and you'll change the world. Trust the timing of your life. Old ways won't open new doors. Be in love with your life. Keep life simple. Live more, worry less. We all make choices. Kind words cost nothing. Kind word, oh, that's, that's the first one. So there we go. Change your thoughts and you'll change the world. And I'm going to do a little bit of layered stamping here. So I'm going to start with this lovely blue. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got the stamp up the right way. Because that's the best way to mess a page up. Now, I'm very aware at this point that you can't see it, but that's all right because I'm tying it all together. My, my title is going to go up here, but I'm adding it in a few other places as well in this blue for layering. And then this one here. <laughs> now I'm second guessing myself. Done, happy with that. So there's that layered stamping in the background that you can see here. So it's subtle, but it works. And I love that and I'm happy and I'm gonna stop. Knowing when to stop is really important. <laughs> All right, so just to recap, 
what we have done today is we have had a play with the Lindy's Gang sprays, okay? We are, we've got the set here, which is called Arctic Adventures. So uh, the Lindy's Gang sprays Arctic, Adv Arctic Adventures with a five pack. They come as a powder. We activate them with hot water to the fill line. The instructions are on the bottle. And when we send you um, your order, if you order Lindy's, we also send you out a little flyer with some instructions. So I tested them and swatched, swatched the colours first. Uh, we then used a paintbrush to paint them onto our background uh, and had a bit of a play with paper first. So I had a big paper fail here where it just soaked right in and I didn't love that effect. So I ditched it, popped it aside and I have used some watercolour paper. Watercolour paper you'll find available online. We sell it in packs uh, of A4 and also 12 by 12. We used some Hessian as well. Uh, you can get a pack of a little six thing of Hessian as well online. Just tie, so not Hessian, cheesecloth. Um, we've got some layered stamping in the background using the Art by Marlene stamp set called mixed media play you will find that in the show specials and it has been discounted as well already discounted for you um very very universal um stamp set actually i really like it these little love hearts here they are from that stamp set uh we then just use some black cotton or some black string to go around our butterfly that has been cut out of a cut from a die also on special so there we go and we colored this layered butterfly here with the two pinks in the spray sets okay and a bit of stamping so there you go happy days i hope you're all having a wonderful day um i'm going to take a photo of this guy pop it up online um, in the next post and put a link to the products that I've used so that you can find them easily on nataliemay.com.au. You will be able to take advantage today of 15% off of Lindy's Gang products, which is the colour that we used. You will also find 15% off of stamp sets that does exclude the brand new Art by Marlene that uh, is in the new for July. They are not discounted. And you will also uh, get discount on collage papers today as well. So lots of specials for today only. Please also take a moment to have a look in our clearance section. You'll be surprised at some of the little gems that you'll find in there. So that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30 for another live Facebook. Um, and take advantage this weekend of our show specials and our no judgment postage. Um, have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, chat soon.